Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Just got home and uh, I realized I forgot to film an intro. So today we are going to Grand Blank Lanes just south of Flint, Michigan. We're going to bowl an MSBS tournament on 37 feet. I think it's called Pyok or however you say Daria's last name. That's the name of this pattern apparently. Um, yeah, 37 feet. My first tournament back in about six weeks since the last video you guys saw where I lost $1,100. Hopefully today goes a lot better. Stay tuned. Alright, so update after game two. I was 201, 179, minus 20 after two. Hopefully the cut keeps going down though because there's a lot of striking going on. Alright guys, game 4 update. I went 247, 249, sitting at like plus 70 after 4. Position round left, um, throwing the Venom recoil through the Rogue Assassin for both of my test shots, and it struck both times. The last one looked really good. So going into position round, I'm just going to play it by feel. If the Venom recoil still looks good, we're going to stay in that. If not, Rogue Assassin. So, pretty sure I made the cut. 225 with a 2810 in the 10. Um, plus 100. I threw first two shots on that pair with the Venom recoil, and then I big poured, chopped the 10 pin off the big board, switched directly to the Rogue Assassin, struck from the fifth through the ninth, and then 2810 in the 10th because I missed it at the bottom. Hopefully, we're in the cut, and hopefully, we get some bonus bowling here. Well, as I'm sure you can tell, uh, we're back in the truck, which means we did not make a run in match play. Typical me, I forgot to record any shots whatsoever through match play, but oh well, it is what it is. First game of match play, I started on the pair that we finished qualifying on, so I had two horrible shots and all the rest of them were strikes for 225. Um, this game I threw a couple better shots and then a couple shots that should have struck but didn't and I could tell they were starting to transition so I was just trying to stay safe through match play because this was a eliminator format 
So we cut to nine after qualifying. The Eliminator cut to four plus one wild card who had the highest seven game total pinfall. Which is good because I was going in with uh, 1100 going into this. So all I have to do is be the first one out and I'm pretty much safe, right? So I go 226 game one on the pair that I just finished on and shot 225. And then we move one pair to the right, which was our starting pair for match play. And we had three guys throwing urethane on this pair. Very first game of qualifying. The mid lanes hooked so much that I don't even know that I can find the words to describe how much they hooked. Like, it was literally stupid. And I did not figure it out in time. So I shot 158. I think, throwing the, um, started with the Venom Shock, and then I threw the Horizon once, and then I threw the Jackal Flash twice, and then I threw the Supra Enzo three times, and then going into the ninth, I threw the Desert Tank, and I think I 3 6 10 in the ninth with the Desert Tank. And then chopped the 6-10 off the 3-pin. Threw the first one in the 10th. High flush, fucking 7-9. That probably shouldn't have carried, went late. And then threw what I thought was a similar shot. And it literally hooked at about 20 feet down lane. Because the arrows are about, the first or middle arrow is about 15. So yeah, about 20 feet down lane, it hooked left of the head pin. So that was cool. I ended up missing the wild card spot by four pins total. And uh, yeah, now I'm sitting here in the truck instead of bowling for a title. <sighs> I really want to sit here and stew about it, but I really can't because I haven't bowled on a sport shot in about six weeks. So for my first tournament back being plus 100 after five, seeing the lanes properly for a majority of the day other than the very last game when I saw the lanes and I saw exactly what I had to do but I couldn't get anything that I had to get through the mids and still have enough continuation to carry anything down lane. So I guess that's something that I'm gonna have to work on. I'll just go talk to my PSO and wipe all the oil off at about 20 feet down to 23 feet and then try to get something to go through it because Going left, or getting way left and going around it didn't work because it's still hooked in the mid lane when I was trying to get it outside of the carry down that urethane creates on a 37 foot pattern. And if you just let it sit in the oil, you have to have your ball speed pretty much perfect. Otherwise it's just gonna slide past the head pin or it's gonna check early and go through the face. So that wasn't really an option for me today. But all in all, it was a good day, I feel happy about the way I bowled and I'm quite confident for the next one. I just have to make better decisions, I guess, or try, really, I guess that's what it comes down to. I just have to guess better when I see crazy things like that. Like, what are you supposed to do when you can't get any of your balls to clear 20 feet down the lane before it starts to hook? I tried rolling it up the back. I tried moving left and getting around it. I tried, uh, the desert tank looked the best and then it still hooked early. Um, yeah, I don't know. On to the next one, I guess. Had a slightly profitable day, but not as much as it should have been. But anyways, the next time you guys are out on the lanes, may the carry be in your favor and bowl well.